How about family? This your news reporter, Mary Dad, Sweeney Mary the Late. Today is Sinful Sunday in my city, Chicago. I'm at the Forest City Mall in my city, Chicago. Today is um, February the 27th, 2022. Now, they say nothing happens in this world by mistake. You see this Dock 4 right here? See this uh, car right here? Got tinted windows, license plate CZ25721. Real tow. It's a charger. You understand what I'm saying? Now I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so called tinted windows. It's always somebody who's trying to take your place. Real talk. Now, I'm not one to gossip or assume. But if you take this, you got used cooking oil. Take the, uh, uh, you got the MA, then you take the H out, put an M, you got money. I'm just saying, or, you know, just read it for what it is. You know. They always try to copy the best and get rid of the best at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? It's more, you know, they try to, uh, they try to, uh, you know, make it nice. You got the lights on and it's daytime out. You see the little bird up there? Kind of holding it down and stuff. Look at her. Check it out. Sometimes you gotta look up. Uh-huh. Now where's the mate at? Cause the last time I came it was it was too up. But uh I didn't look up, they was down here. You know the spirit got a way of working things out. There you go in full flight. There you go. Caught them taking off. That mug flying. Yeah. Spirit got a way of closing the, the deal or whatever. Yeah, but if I was a betting person, see, you got the 721, my ex girlfriend, Lawana Joy Jacobs. You know, her phone number was 773 721 You know, I was like, I didn't have tinted windows all my life. So for me to get harassed for tender windows at the last minute, it's like something I couldn't understand. You understand? You know, but it's always the ones closest to you. And my um, so-called friend, Lenore Ford, her um, brother, Jerry Ford, was one of the five guys that took advantage of me as a little girl. Real talk. See, tinted windows. You know. I'm just trying to bring things to a closure. And this is a Ford. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Yep, yeah, this is a fucking Ford. So, they trying to do new memories and things of that nature and act as if, uh, you know, my story never existed or whatever and stuff. Now it's going to try to, you know, support them see what a hat was going to cost to get made or whatever. And of course, they was waiting on me to, you know, say some ridiculous price or whatever. And they security was, you know, thirsty. They they waiting to, you know, get me off the scene quick. And it was a little too high. I was like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I didn't get the hat. Because uh, the one I made that's on my head is uh, the one that mean the most. You can throw it in your pocket. It's easy to make. God bless the child that got his own, right? So that's what we own. So more tinted windows. You know what I'm saying? My tent was about that light, but not that dark. Yeah, so guys just don't like to see real girls making and stuff. And uh, 
it's too late. So yeah, girls, they, if they in the gang, they get other girls violated. And if you work for a whole bunch of money, they will uh, kill you, shit. Real fucking tough. Yeah, and I'm like, everything black and white, that don't even look cute right there. Mexican style food. This used to be, um, this is where I took my um, mother, Mary Lee Wright, one Mother's Day to eat, but it wasn't this. It was a uh, old country buffet. Real tough. But now it's this. You know what I'm saying? So I guess they started over and uh, it is what it is. Yeah, memories, something I don't want to really hold on to because it's all bad. Yeah, but uh, I'm still trying to figure out where that money at because they show practicing on how to, to get a nigga. So this is uh, bulls right here. All you bullheaded tourists, check it out. I'm saying for 23. Yeah, so here go moats in the windows. Yeah, man. You know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna lose Port of Mary and Dad, Mary Lee, and the originator of rap music. You know, I didn't want to um, live my life, you know, alone, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. And if you love something, you set it free by any means necessary. Uh, to scripture today is 1 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. Already um, did that story. So they really want to turn up, but because I'm still alive, they can't, they can't flex they, the way they want to. You know, but they might as well go ahead because it's my birthday right here. 7-7 seven, seven is 14, and then you got... You know, 525 and 08, all this is symbolism. You know, something I wasn't paying attention to, but uh, hey, you see it? You know what I'm saying? I need that money, Mississippi. Real talk. Oh, uh, yeah, so life is weird. But uh, just because a person, you know what I'm saying? rob you of everything don't mean that they could uh, keep what's yours you understand what I'm saying which is mine so you know you might be dumping it off in business and things of that nature or whatever and try to make it seem like you got over on me but like I said is it worth your family is it worth your family and if you know cause that's the one thing I never really had my higher power made damn sure that it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even bother me in the end because, you know, I got my higher power, right? You understand what I'm saying? And if my higher power is running the show, I ain't got nothing to worry about real fucking top. You understand what I'm saying? That's why my higher power didn't want me to get too attached because of this here reason. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen, man, but at the end of the day, I never fucking lose, nigga. Just got a feeling. Real talk. So this is how they started. They kept starting it over, telling um the story over and over, or at least trying to um imitate, if nothing else. They say imitation is the greatest form of flattery. You know what I'm saying? It used to be like that. I don't feel like that no more. I feel like motherfuckers is trying to laugh in my face and make a mockery out of me and shit. And, uh, there's gonna be a lot of damn motherfuckers. That's what I say, shit, real fucking tough. And there go the corona. The coronavirus come from the corona. It's extra. You see the crown? There go the crown. See? See, they got all them kids they got to take care of. Corona, coronavirus. 
The Hispanics ain't playing with y'all ass. Real tough. Uh, LL Cool J, uh, somebody had stole my ring some kind of way and shit, so I went to Walmart to um, see if I could see the same one. And of course, you know, I didn't, but I got this one. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I got this uh, this this army and this black one and stuff to try to keep the one in the middle secure or whatever. But I noticed that little Cool J didn't have no ring on in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? He's supposed to be married. Maybe it was all just game, right? And him and um, Oprah, you know, did a little interview and, you know, Another Corona, boy. They drinking their ass off. There you go again. Yeah, it's nasty. So you can tell it's intruders because it's nasty. They just trying to set up shop and get paid. But ain't nobody working and shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no fun if the homies can't have them. Real talk. It go, it go some alcohol right here. Yeah, they want us just to spend money. You remember somebody broke in uh, uh House and he had the vitamins, you know, um, Dave Chappelle, look at this, they didn't broke all up in there, <laughs> these motherfuckers doing the most, and, um, uh, Dave Chappelle had to go get a gun, because, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers was trying to, you know, rob him and shit, they going after the money, man, I told you, whatever they do to me, they gonna do to y'all, these Hispanics not playing, they trying to feed their goddamn family. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, like I said, plenty of times we could have all been billionaires, but for some reason, they ain't thinking about us making it. They only think about themselves. Some people just selfish and greedy. You know, if you watch the movie Blue Streak, you know, uh, with Martin Lawrence and Dave Chappelle or whatever, um, yeah, see, they, they they just wanted to drive and shit. Real fucking tough. Yeah, you remember the uh, movie, you know, Blue Street with Dave Chappelle and Martin Lawrence, and uh, they was robbing some goddamn jewelry place or whatever and shit, and the white boy killed the other white boy. He's like, hey man, you ain't got to do that. He's like, man, I'm just too greedy for all that. Yes, they were saying they wanted that big ass diamond or whatever and shit. So that's why I'm never ever able to keep a, you know, a ring and shit. Cause these motherfuckers, they is straight up criminals. It's a, it's a, it's a family hustle. Like T.I. said, this is a family fucking hustle and shit. Real fucking tough. And then they think they tough. Boy, that's the killing part. See, I didn't know what was going on, but now that I do. It's gonna be hell to pay now. No fucking tough. It's funny how shit go around though, for real. I can't make it up. I knew when they was trying to put me in the nursing home after they railroaded me in 2016. I said, damn, these motherfuckers trying to put me in a fucking nursing home and shit. Like my mama or whatever and stuff. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful out here because they, they do it all, man. Real fucking tough. And they come from all over. Love will get you killed, like um, 50 Cent said. Real talk. It's always the ones closest to you that'll kill you. Remember that. All right, family. It says, hot stuff, cool prices. See what they got. Window shop. Peace.